Hey, what's up everyone? We're here in the Fitness 253 headquarters, newly built, already loving it, awesome setup. I put out a second video last night. That's how fast this computer is. I can get what would normally take me like four hours done in roughly 25 minutes of rendering, which is which is amazing. That's super cool. Um, let's talk about the Q&A that this video is about to be. I went through all your guys' comments. I could have given it a little bit longer, but you know, waiting a week is just gonna give me like 90 comments. I'm not gonna be able to read all of them. So I went for just 24 hours, got an awesome selection of 10 questions um, that I'm gonna read off. All these lovely people right here, if you guys can see. All those people submitted in questions. So let's get to answering all of them. So I'm gonna be drinking my favorite beverage of all time, Pepsi. Just kidding, it's coffee, which makes up like 40% of my blood on any giving day. Let's talk about the first question. Ben Howell asks, what is your current split? What does it look like? Now, that's a good question. Ben, always in my comments, awesome dude. A lot of these guys, you're gonna see, they're always in the comments, they're the people that are those quality um, quality subscribers that actually give you feedback, they give you um, comments, they they are the good subscribers, not the one that just click the like button, they're never really there. They're part of the community. Ben, what's up dude? Your question, what does my split look like? I do something a little bit different than a lot of people don't do. I do what's called an upper lower split. I've made videos on it on the channel before. Essentially what it is, everything above the waist is upper body day, Monday. You could choose whatever day you'd like. That next day is everything lower body, which means below the hips, that's gonna be legs. What I like about this is it's incredibly simple. It's very, very simple. Um, you walk into the gym, you know what you have to do, everything above the waist, so much as you spread the exercises across the large muscle groups. So you go chest, uh, back, chest, tries, um, everything, pecs, all in there, all at once, all in the same day. It takes about two hours, but what it really does is it promotes that solid, even growth all at the exact time and then that next day when you're doing legs everything's healing at the same time everything's being repaired at the same time it's getting the same nutrients at the same time so you can get quality even spread muscle a lot faster the rest days are Wednesday Sunday but they're always variable you can switch depending on what you got going on as much as I like to say two rest days is perfect you don't want to go seven days a week you're just gonna cause your muscles to cannibalize themselves if you're not getting the proper amount of nutrients and you're never really seeing that, that really good recovery and growth from it. Next question, Jack K, new guy to the channel, awesome kid, he's really good in the comments. Which split is most effective to build muscle? Awesome set of questions, right back to back. Again, I think for myself and the general populace, the upper lower split is gonna be the best. What I think turns a lot of people away from it, especially if you're over six foot one, maybe six two and higher, um, is you don't see the results right away. And that's really disconcerting. You've been putting in maybe like four months, five months, and you're not seeing those results. Give it time. I guarantee if you're a six foot, six foot two and above guy, and you've done the upper lower split, stacking on the large amount of nutrition because you're a bigger guy, that muscle's got to spread a lot further to so start getting in those dense buildups of that quality lean muscle. It takes time. Give it a year. Give it a year, it sounds like a long amount of time, but I guarantee you, you will be rewarded. And then once you build that solid creation, that solid foundation of muscle, you will vastly, vastly um, edge out the rest of your peers who are shorter. Because once you've built that pyramid, like in the other video, once you've gotten halfway up and you've got those gains, it's so fast of a climb to the top of that pyramid. Once you're taller, that muscle is just so dense and so big, it's of your broad, um, your broad frame that it gives you an advantage that you just haven't had a chance to see it. You gotta give it a little bit longer time and a lot more food, a lot more nutrition to fuel those gains. You're big guys, it takes some time. So I always say the upper lower split is good. If you're a shorter guy, you will put on so much muscle so fast, I guarantee it. This is the best question I could possibly answer because this is the stuff that's gonna help you make those gains and those strength gains that last for a long time. They're not just hit and miss. You recover at the same rate, you build at the same rate, you build evenly and better, I guarantee it. Next question, same, Jackass2, it's gonna say, do you count calories? I don't. You can do the if it fits your macro, you can count calories. What I find that helps with the most is if you're trying to cut, or if you're trying to become lean, that works. We're bulking right now, we're still worried about um, fat calories and fat carbs, unnecessary or empty is what I would probably classify them more as, um, just bad, they're just unnecessary. Obviously you don't wanna go with those. I don't count calories. I shoot for the um, 
condition I'm maintaining. If I'm eating a ton and a ton and a ton, I'm gaining weight, but you can see, I mean, you look at yourself in the mirror so many times a day, you look at yourself, oh, that's a, I'm looking a little doughy. Then you know that your your surplus of calories is, is wrong. You don't need it. So you start cutting down, in virtue of you working out as much as you were, now with minus calories, you'll start to see your condition increase, less body fat, boom, that's your calorie load. It's all a guessing game. You can do if it fits your macros, but then by the time you're calculating all of this stuff out, you know, it just takes way too much time, and frankly, everybody's different. You can, if it fits your macros, and you can count all that stuff, but if your metabolism is different from someone else who suggests a certain range, then it's just gonna be useless for you. So go off with your condition, if you're eating, a lot less food and now you're starting to see you're you have way more abs you're getting vascular um you're losing that strength obviously you're calorie deficient you need to stack more in your favor i don't count calories you can i always suggest go with what your physique looks like go with where your strength is that and then you can worry about counting calories when you're about to step on stage for that physique competition or if you're cutting for the summertime then you can start to count calories but i think it's a little bit unnecessary um, especially when you know what you look like. Next question is by Adrian Lard. Don't know why his last name is Lard because the dude is shredded, but he says, what do you like to do in your free time outside of fitness? Really, I mean, I'm in school full time. I work almost full time, like 25, 30 hours a week sometimes. Um, there's not a, a huge amount of time. What, what I do for um, like a passion is this kind of stuff. I record videos. Um, I talk to like friends and different stuff about like fitness and what's going on. I'm married, my wife, of almost five years now. I spend time with her, uh, spend time with family as, as, as much as possible, but this is what I do in my free time. I wouldn't really count this as fitness. It's more of getting to know people, talking with people, um, building the brand, and just building the community. This is, this is definitely what I like to do. It makes me happy when I see all the comments and stuff when I wake up in the morning and I check my feed. That's the kind of stuff that makes me happy. That's what I like to do in my free time. Aaron86 Fitness, this dude's all over my comments. He's an awesome kid. I support his channel just as much as he supports mine. Um, best accomplishment to date, fitness or non-fitness related? Um, I think the best fitness accomplishment is this channel. I talked about it for a long time, probably like a year and a half. Um, I didn't think I'd do it. I didn't think I'd be able to record myself. Check out the videos I've made before. If you have any more questions, obviously hit them up in the comments. But that's my dose, three and a half to five grams a day. Next question. <clears throat> Alex, AKA the beast back hen. How long have you been training for and how old am I? I'm 26 years old. The, the training thing is a little bit difficult to explain. I started in 2009, my senior year of high school at 120 pounds, just a super small kid. Um, and then did that for, did my upper lower split for a little bit didn't like it initially, switched to the push-pull split, did that for like eight months, got a little bit of beginner gains off of it, and then I really went heavy back into the upper-lower split, and I gained like 45 pounds in a year, um, and then I started working out, but the nutrition was never there. The supplementation was never really there, so I was going off just eating some extra calories and gaining some weight, but your body was so hungry for it. I was so small that I just gained those beginner gains really fast because my body was just all about gaining that weight right away. Um, and then I lifted a lot throughout the years and then I hurt my shoulder. My shoulder is still permanently jacked up. Um, I have a paralyzed uh, long thoracic nerve in my right shoulder, which prevents the scapular uh, side to side mo uh, motion. So when I lift, the tendency of my scapula to bend up and out is really there. Um, I stopped lifting for a year for that. I lifted a little bit on and on throughout, but it was nowhere near serious and I couldn't do anything that involved like an upper body motion. So really, I stopped doing upper body for a year, but that gave me a chance to get my legs on par. My legs were seriously lacking, but in the last year, I've went super serious with it. The correct supplements, the correct dosage of supplements, the best nutrition I could possibly get relatively faithful about, and then the right gym and the right people behind me because this video camera and this whole YouTube thing is my mirror. So I look at myself, I'm like, ah, should I go to the gym today? And I look in the mirror of all of you guys and I'm like, well, I can't just not go to the gym. Like they're gonna know if I lose 15 pounds that I'm skipping the gym, I'm skipping leg day. So you guys keep me faithful. I've been lifting for 
probably six, seven years, maybe eight years now, who knows. There's so much like time of like off time and getting hurt and getting back in the gym. I've been lifting consistently, you could say for like two years. That, that would be a good answer. Time is muscle, good question. He asked, if I could pump iron with one person on the planet, what would it be, who would it be, and why? The cliche answer is like, I wanna lift with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think right now, um, if it's only present people who are actually lifting, I would say Bradley Martin, the dude's, the dude's an idol of mine. He's the same thing, he came from a really small physique, he's built a really big physique. His community is awesome. He has a ton of YouTube subscribers who are faithful to his brand. Um, and you know, he, he's got hashtag squad. I'm part of his hashtag squad. Um, I got the Bradley Martin hat over here. I love the dude, he's a cool guy, he's funny. He's one of those people, you know if you were with him, um, just like hanging out, he's a cool dude. Um, and he's yoked beyond belief the dude uh, deadlifts 405 like he picked a piece of cake off the ground close second and a close third would be like ct fletcher um and mike rasheed just because they're just they're unreal they're animals they're just animals of iron iron addicts they're good guys too they don't make the top list i would say bradley martin they're really close behind in that second and third position aj bodybuilding with the last question the 10th question awesome awesome group of uh, questions and guys here asked why 253 why fitness 253 that's because i live in puyallup washington aka the 253 there's a few other cities in the state that take that area code um it's just part of i just wanted it to be part of the channel the, that's where i'm from a lot of people say well if i'm gonna buy this shirt it says 253 on it i don't live in that i don't live in that area code i don't live in that state it's not about where you're at per se with the 253 that's where i'm from i think fitness is rooted in where you grow up, your experiences growing up, what made you where you're at right there. And chances are, that's where you grew up, your hometown, your home group of people, your family, your friends, your foundation. That 253 for me, that 501 for you, that 206, that whatever you have it, whatever makes you foundational and grounded in your fitness. It doesn't have to be the 253. You can rock that logo with pride, say, hey, I'm a 253, but I'm in the 704. I'm repping the 253 though. It doesn't matter if you're not a 253. It, it matters of where you're from and you carry the spirit of the 253, which is that overall belonging to a community of people who are fed up with garbage fitness that's on the internet and clickbait and want to bring back real fitness. That's what being part of the 253 is. You want to be part of that new breed of fitness even though you're from uh, Southern California, or even though you're from Montana, you can still be a 253. It's where you're from, it's how you're raised, it's what you wanna become. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed it. It's gonna be a little bit longer of a video, 10 questions to actually answer them meaningfully and from the heart, not just to give some full answer that makes you guys um, appeased and make me sound really cool. I wanna be off the collar. I wanna be real with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, smash that like button if you like this stuff. A first Q&A on the channel, it's a huge milestone. 200 subscribers the other day. You guys are amazing. I said it in the other video, but thank you guys so much. I get to sit in front of a camera and talk to an awesome group of people about stuff that matters. Your guys' support is what makes all of this possible. I like, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate all your guys' stuff. I know it takes time to come on here, watch a 10 minute video, leave a comment, smash the like button, tell your friends, it takes time. I'm subscribed to like 130 people right now. It takes like two hours to go through, watch their video, comment, leave a good comment, not like, hey, nice vid, bro. I leave an awesome comment that's like, hey, I like this, maybe this could be a little bit better, you're killing it, bro. I leave good comments, I know how much time it takes. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch these videos, be part of this awesome community. All that aside, all the hype aside, hopefully your guys' day is going well. Smash a gym today. I unfortunately work all the rest of the day. I want to get this video out for you guys. All that aside, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this awesome community. Most importantly, take it easy, everyone.